Hi everybody, uh, welcome back, it's uh, Joe here. Right, so uh, branching out now, we're gonna look at SQL. If you're a data analyst, you may have a need to get at your data and extract it from a database and do some work on it. And that could be either through Python or through data visualization with Tableau or Power BI or so on and so forth. So, you wanna get your data, first thing you need to do is actually process, write an SQL query. So on the screen here, uh, I'm gonna take you through a couple of scenarios. Um, you'll be able to see how, how to get it. Um, so start off with a table, uh, it's called a uh, basic error underscore database, uh, and then it has, well, it has country, sorry, it's country, and it has columns called name, ISO, description. And what we'll do is start off, say you wanted to get everything in that table, okay? The syntax for that in SQL is select star from the, the, base ta the table here, country, okay? It's in the database error database, okay? So that's how you would go about getting all your data for those particular columns, right? As you can see, we've only got 14 rows and three columns. It's a very, very small database. Um, as your databases get bigger, you do need to obviously be more precise in your SQL because it will take longer as you're going through more data. So, but that, that's for further videos. So in this scenario, we've selected everything, but say you wanted to bring back just a particular column. So we're going to bring back everything in a column called name. Uh, so as you can see, all it does is by using just talent name, uh, it just brings back that particular column. But we could also um, say we want to bring back two columns, okay? All right, so in that scenario, you just type in the first column name, comma, and the second column name, and then leave everything else from the from to that side of the statement the same. As you see now, we have actually two column names returned. So the next scenario is, say you have, just want to look at one particular column you're trying to get a value. Uh, but say you wanted to get, uh, return all the values in a particular column um, and only those values. What we do is we just say, select the name from the table. Um, and then we go where, we would say name equals, let's just say Ireland for this case, right? So what I expect is, if when I look at this here, we have Ireland in the name column, there's only one uh, value for that. So I expect that here in this output when I run this to bring back one value. So there you go. So that's how you would say, give it a precise value uh, in the SQL statement, excuse me, to bring back um, a particular value. But say you didn't want to bring back Ireland and you want to bring back everything else. So you wanted to exclude Ireland, sorry, apologies. All you do is you change, change the equals to um, this here. And all that's this basically saying is for a name does not equal Ireland. So when we rerun this, it brings back everything in the name column, um, but it doesn't um, bring back Ireland, it just leaves it off what's returned on the output. So the next thing we want to do is say, we want to see where there's a particular set of values you want to bring back. So here we basically said where it doesn't equal Ireland, but that brings back everything else. But say you didn't want all those either. What you want to do is you want to say where name is in, um, and you just basically give it a list. Here, let's just do this. So first of all, we're saying Ireland, okay? So let's say we want to bring back Italy, okay? And then say we want to bring back Germany. All right, when you rerun this, then you should now see only those values being returned in the column, okay? So there you go. As you can see, there's Ireland, Germany, and Italy. So that's how you would go and basically run a number of select queries, give it the filters on it to say exactly what you want. You can do it either by one column or multiple columns. Um, hope you liked that today. It's our introduction to SQL. If you're a data analyst, if you can hit the like and subscribe button. There's more videos in SQL coming up, as I said in the introduction. Uh, we're looking to expand this channel, so we do do videos on Python, etc., uh, on other data analytics type tools and tips. So subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Further on, we will have videos on uh, case statements and on wildcards, so on and so forth. And this will allow you to do additional logic, which will build your SQL knowledge and then get precisely the data you want.